Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to a new episode of Ask the Imam, uh, a program that we host at the uh, Clear Lake Islamic Center. You can see the uh, answers to your questions on our YouTube channel. If you want to ask a question, uh, send us an email at asktheimam, one word, at themasjid.org. That is asktheimam at themasjid.org. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Wa alaikum assalam. Um, we have a long question and um, it's really, um, it's a very difficult question for me to read. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to read it um, as it was written. So this sister is asking, is sending your child to a private Christian school allowed? Uh, trying to avoid public school. The child was suspended from the Islamic school in the area. Uh, and regarding the Christian school, one of the requirements is to take a class in religion studying the life of Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, based on the Bible. And of course, a weekly service every Wednesday, which requires also that uh, the child will be in the church attending that service every Wednesday, I think afternoon. Uh, and then she's asking, is purchasing a Bible allowed in this, reg in this case? Uh, so how do you tackle a question like this? Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu salam rasulillah. No doubt, the most important thing to protect and to take care of when it comes to children is their deen. Yes. Their faith, their, their aqidah, their belief, their creed. And that's more important than any degree, more important than any diploma, more, more, more important than anything else. Mm -hmm. uh, education, whatever. So uh, by putting your child in such environment, I, I see there's a, a very high level of risk for this child uh, to be impacted and confused, uh, the least we can be saying, mm -hmm. and also to be participating in things which is not allowed. So if you tell me I'm going to put him in a Christian school, but you know what, he's not going to be required to participate in going to church or to pray to Jesus or to, or to attend, or, or to attend services that. or uh, to do some... Uh, you know, theological studies and anything like that. No, they will allow him to be excused. They, because some Christian schools do that. Even in Middle East, I know people who study in Christian schools in, in, in Jordan, Egypt, and Palestine, right. stuff like that. They here are in some Catholic school, have good, good private school, but they will accommodate a Muslim or a Jewish person, so mm -hmm. they will respect their, their, their theology. Um, if this is the case, you know what, maybe we'll say if there is really need for it, it's okay. But, but with what you're describing, no, I don't believe it's allowed for you to send your child there, put him in public school, put him in an online school, like homeschooling, you know. Uh, and this is a message to also to the Islamic schools. To, I'm not going to judge uh, them because I don't know why he was suspended. Maybe he's not behaving and good enough, but... I just want us in Islamic schools and, and, and uh, Muslim organizations to understand sometimes when we take a strong decision like that, we might pushing people to go to a very, very uh, extreme. extreme, you know, choice in life. So uh, I am for being following the rules. I'm, you know, sometimes that's the right thing to do, to dismiss somebody or to, uh, to suspend them, uh, sorry, suspend a, yes. a child. Um, but I hope this is was done for the right reason. And may Allah SWT make it easy for you and your family to uh, protect your child and all our children. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh. Barakallahu feekum. She's asking about purchasing a Bible. Yeah, purchasing the Bible, it, it, you are allowed to purchase the Bible to learn from it. It's like any book of right. ilm or knowledge. And Nabi SAW said, Hadithu an Bani Israel wa la haraj, narrate from Bani Israel. You purchase it for that purpose. But if this been said, you have, to, I ha, you have to make sure that you have already a good foundation in Aqeedah. Because mm -hmm. in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi when he saw Umar radiallahu anh, and that was the beginning, beginning of Islam according to many of the scholars. And Umar was looking in a, like a chapter, or like in his hand part of the Bible. Um, in Bible in general sense, like it could be the Jewish Torah, Old Testament. In Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, فِيهَا بْنَ الْخَطَّةِ Or you have a doubt about what we have. And that because the Nabi said, I want to protect the religion from being mixed with anything foreign. 
to, to the message of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at that yes, time. Salatus. So there were strict rules. After the Prophet died, we see there is a leniency in, from the Sahaba, later mm -hmm. Sahaba, Tabi'een, involved in like reading the books of Ahl al-Kitab, you know, acquiring them and stuff like that. But from this we learn something. It's important for someone has to be, make sure that you have a very strong foundation in your being before you start looking at other sources when right. it comes to theology and aqeed. Very good. That's, that's, that's the bottom line, basically. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much for your questions. We'll see you next episode.